Hi you guys, I'm so excited because today I got my first hand turned pen and this has been such a long time coming for me. I've really wanted one for so long but I honestly did not know where to start or how to even go about the process. I thought it was like so much more complicated than it actually was. But I saw Zodiac Pen Company and um, the creator of and the craftsman of this company, his name is Bart. I saw him on a few different um, YouTube videos at a pen show and then Karina Loves to Plan has a few of his pens and so he's always been on my radar and I followed him and a few other pen makers on Instagram and one day I commented on one of his photos and he immediately replied to me and said send me a message like we'll talk about it whatever so we've been messaging back and forth and he has been so 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 kind so helpful, so patient, um, just like really made the process super easy and effortless, really. Like I told him what I liked. He showed me what he had. Um, we talked about like the different styles of the pens and the rest is history. So I can't thank him enough. Thank you, Bart. Here is his information. I can't recommend him more. Like he is amazing and so kind and so friendly. Here's a little sticker that I got. I really wanted this to be a first impressions, but the video that I did of the first impressions was just like a babbling mess because I was so excited <laughs> that I just kept like talking crazy. Like, yeah. So anyways, I had to refilm it, but it came in this box. And also it did not take long at all. Like I thought that to order a custom pen or a hand turned pen, you had to wait like months and months. No, he was super fast. The turnaround time was great. And I just, I can't wait to get more pens from him. Honestly, I'm already thinking about what's the next pen I'm going to get. Although it's going to be hard to beat this one because are you ready? Oh my gosh, here it is. I am so in awe of this pen right now. Like it is so stunning. This is the Virgo model. So that's the size and shape of the pen. Um, forgive me for all my ink all over my hands, but yeah, it's the Virgo model. Um, and this material is called red abalone and it's, it was turned by Brooks, which I think I think and I hope I'm right is from Carolina Pen Co. But please forgive me if I'm wrong on that. And then it has a Yovo number six steel nib. And I cannot even with the beauty of this thing. And it's like so hard to capture on camera. Like when he sent me the pictures and the video of it as well, I could not see all of this like beautiful shimmer in here. Like it is so shimmery and sparkly. Um there's like hints of purple um there is more purple right here and then there's this like gorgeous spot right here at the end of this pink kind of teal shimmer that's just dazzling it is just dazzling this pen is so beautiful i am speechless <laughs> And the first video was a lot worse than this. I did not even know what to say. It's just stunning. Like, I don't know what else to say. Um, so the unscrewing mechanism is very smooth and very nice. Um, the pen is lightweight. And it's not too heavy or too light. Here is the grip section, which has more of that gorgeous pinky chatoyance. Um, I chose this model partly because I really like the fact that the step from the body to the grip is not harsh and it's very smooth too. It feels good in the hand. Like it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It's like perfectly comfortable in my hand to hold unposted and it does post. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. <laughs> it does post really nice and deeply, but I'm not sure if it would scratch if I keep it posted, so I want to be careful with that, and I'm going to ask Bart about that as soon as I'm done here. But yeah, it posts really deeply, and I love the way that it looks posted, too. Like, just the whole thing is so gorgeous. And then if you post it, like, a different way, you'll get, like, different views of all the different, like, swirlies, and oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. So yeah, it has the, it comes with the number six steel Yovo nib. You can get it, um, 
you can get a like a gold colored steel nib but I opted for silver with this pet and body um there was still some like little bits of shavings on the inside when I opened it so I'm hoping that doesn't affect the writing at all but I don't think it will I should have really like washed it out better but I was too excited to ink it up so I did make my own little custom ink blend for this and I kept adding things because I didn't like the ink. So now I have like a full vial. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what I inked it up with and how it looks. Um, it seems like the cap, no, it pulls securely. I probably just didn't press it down. Okay, so let's zoom in here. It is not the 14th of July, but this is an empty page that I had. So this is the Zodiac Pen Company. And this is the Red Abalone in the Virgo model. Look how perfectly it fits in my hand. It's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It has a medium Yovo nib and the nib is smooth and nice. It does have a little bit of scratchiness going to the left. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but I've had some Twisbees that are like that too, just right out of the box. And I've found that like over time they do smooth out. Um, I don't see anything like wrong with the tine alignment, although I can't, I don't know if I would be able to see it even with like the magnification here, but I mean, to me it looks fine. So I'm just going to write with it for a while and hopefully it smooths out. If not, then maybe I'll try some micro mesh or something, but okay. Yeah, I'm just super happy with it. So here is some more writing. And how perfectly does this ink match? I was going for a little bit lighter of a pink, um, but I didn't like how light it was because you guys know me, I just can't do it with light inks. <laughs> so this is a combo of Sailor Yozakura, Sailor Hara Hara, Robert Oster, Rose Gold Antiqua, and Robert Oster Cherry Blossom, which I just added a tiny bit of that and a tiny bit of Hara Hara as well. Then Van Diemen's Bengal Tiger Blaze because the shimmer in this ink is unlike any other shimmer. It's like so sparkly. Um, and then, so that was the original recipe, but it was too light. So it was actually, here's what I wrote before. It was just too light for me. Um, so you can see the difference there. It just came out kind of watery and like, it just, I don't know. I just didn't like the ink combo. So I added Diamine Tyrian Purple. And I love it now. I love that. I think it's the perfect um, the perfect color and combo for me of inks. And just look how beautifully it matches the pen. And I just love how smooth it is to screw on to. I'm just checking to see if it like did any scratches. No, it didn't, but look at that spot right there. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. So here it is up close. I'm wishing that you could see the shimmer. Let's, well, no, I don't want to wait for it to dry. I'm not going to, I'm trying not to have to edit this video. Come on, girly. I guess you can kind of see it right there as I move the page and you can see it like in there and then over here so yeah it's really really beautiful and it matches the pen really well and I just love how 
I just love this pen. I'm so happy with it. Thank you so much, Bart. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you're looking for a custom pen, please reach out to Bart. He's so fabulous. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.